Hi everyone, welcome back to AI and Conventions. This is day 4 of our Streamlit Zero to Master series. And in today's video, we are going to explore interactive data editing using Streamlit. I'll show you how to leverage ST.data editor widget for inline editing of data frames. And we will dive into capturing and processing the changes made by the users. Whether you are building data science tools or dashboard applications, this functionality is game changer for creating dynamic and interactive interfaces. Unlike the standard ST.data frame, this widget makes your data frame editable on the fly. In addition to updating values in line, you can capture which rows were changed, track newly added rows, or even find out which rows have been deleted, all using built in session state capabilities. Let's start our coding. So, we are on our VS Code Streamlit Zero to Master series. We'll create a new file day4 example.py, example1.py. We'll start by creating a simple data frame and displaying it with st.data editor. So, to get started, we'll simply use import streamlit as st. Then we have to use pandas, import pandas as pd. To create a simple data frame, we'll use df that is equals to pd dot data frame and second one will be the second one will be st dot st dot balloons and the rating will be Five and this widget will be false. Similarly, we'll add one more. We will render an editable data frame. For that, we'll use edited underscore df is equals to st dot data underscore editor and in this we'll simply pass this data frame and we'll simply say height index is equals to true and we'll say use container width is equals to true then we will display a message based on the users edit for that we will use favorite command is equals to edited underscore data frame and dot loc edited data frame of rating dot id max and We'll simply take command if we save this here is the editable data frame if you see we are having command rating and widgets in this code the data frame is rendered as an editable table notice we are having the dot balloons as the highest rating and that is why it is printed here if you want to change this, we can simply say st.balloons as 2. Now the highest rating will be select box. So, yeah, you can see that it has changed to st.select box. If you want to make st.time input as the highest, we can change this to 5. And there you go. st.time input has the highest rating. So, that's how you can edit the data frame on the fly using st.data editor. Let's move to the next example that is capturing and processing changes. We'll create a new file day4 example2.py and here we'll simply import streamlit import pandas as pd and we'll define a function that is process 
changes. And here we will access the change in dictionary from the session state using the widget key. So we'll create a variable changes as equals to st dot session state and this will simply say data editor underscore key dot get edited rows will be an empty dictionary and we'll simply write st dot write process changes as the changes so we'll create a data frame and we will render this edited data frame is equals to st dot data editor and inside this we'll simply pass the data frame and key will be equals to data editor key that we have mentioned here and we'll say hide index as true similarly we can say use container as true and on change we need to make sure that we are calling the function that is process changes that is the callback when the data is edited after this we can simply say st dot markdown edited data frame that is st dot write edited data frame if you save this and stream read space run space day four example two and there you go so for now we have the data frame and this is the edited data frame let's edit some values here for example we'll simply say rating as five for select box and for balloons we'll say rating as four and we'll simply say is widget as false and we'll say balloon as true and this one we can say as false so these are the process changes that we just made to the data frame and here we have the edited data frame. This is the updated one. In this way, you can programmatically process updates, maybe log them or validate them, or even update the database immediately. Let's move to the next example where we will be handling inserts and deletes. So, for this, we'll create a new file day four example3.py. We'll import streamlit as st, then we will import pandas as pd then we will have we'll have the same data frame that is this and let's add title to this page and for the rendering part this is the editable data frame and we have the same data frame that we have passed key is equals to dynamic editor and we are having hide index as true same only thing is that we have added num rows is equals to dynamic this will allow us to add or remove rows dynamically and on change we'll call a function that is process changes we'll add that function so let me add that we'll simply say define process changes and in this we'll simply say editor state as equals to st dot session state dot get dynamic editor 
and will simply say an empty dictionary. And for the edited rows, we'll simply say edited is equals to editor dot session state dot get edited rows and it will be an empty dictionary. And for the added ones, we'll simply say editor state dot get added rows. For rows, we'll have a list. Similarly, for deleted, we'll having we'll have this. And to display this, we'll simply say we will display the edited data frame that will be sg dot markdown inside this we'll simply say edited data frame and sg dot write it will be edited data frame we'll use the editor state will be equals to sg dot session state dot get dynamic editor and for added rows will simply say added rows and for deleted rows will simply say this and to show the newly added rows will simply say st dot write added rows and it will be st dot write added rows for deleted rows will simply add this to run this, we'll simply go to our stream rate day for example 3 and there you go. So this is the data frame and here we can see that now we are having plus button. This button will help us to add new rows to this data frame. For example, we can simply say st dot data frame and for the rating we'll simply say 5 and we will simply say is widget as true so this is the new added row and if you want to remove this you can simply select and click on delete there you go we have deleted the rows So today we have seen how easy it is to incorporate interactive inline editing into your streamlit apps with st.data editor. So we have learned how to capture user changes, edits, additions and deletions using built-in session state keys and how to process those changes programmatically. This opens the door to many interactive workflows such as data cleaning, immediate validations and live updates to your database. If you found this video helpful, Please like, subscribe for more in-depth tutorials and leave a comment below with any questions or topics that you would like to cover next. By the time, happy coding and I will see you in the next video.